Eddie's disease. Hey everyone, thank you for watching Infinite Realms. Today we have the one, the only, Sergeant Slaughter. And okay, so yeah, when I first saw the price tag on Sarge, I was like, nope, no way, no how, nah. -uh. Then I forgot about that fun miracle holiday every year, Black Friday, and I caught him at. A normal figure price $24.99 so yeah then I went and said main and here he is now so without further ado let's uh, get him out of the package and take a look and of course I'm gonna point it out again and I will keep pointing it out that it appears Hasbro has figured out the Joe team has figured out this plastic package this non-plastic package and how to do it more effectively than the other groups. Marvel Legends is by far the worst so far. Although I do admit, I've not had to deal with non-plastic packaging in any Star Wars yet. So, but yeah, the non-plastic packaging uh, for Marvel Legends is terrible. It's <laughs> it's waiting to get thieved. Um, this is at least, you know, it's taped on two sides. It's a little harder to get into. I mean, nothing's foolproof. I, you know even plastic packaging is not foolproof but this is a little better and a little more secure so and the figure is more secure and uh, well you also get that neat little foot locker which is kind of a nice add-on um, I keep thinking I'm going to do something with that but I'm not sure so here we have the Sarge on the spinner and this is yeah, obviously they're going after his uh, more cartoon look um, than anything, which is perfectly fine. I'm good with that. Uh, much larger than life version of Sergeant Slaughter, we'll say up front, and that's pretty clear when you look at him. Um, he's on the roadblock body, which is um, a little bit bigger. Um, yeah, but obviously, you know, they're wanting him to be, you know, larger than life, so there we go. And of course, here we have Sarge and Foot Locker. Gonna Stab Sarge. That's what I did. Nah, I'm cutting up. Footlocker. I would try to do it in front of the camera, but you know what? I'm klutz. Alright, and then of course in here you have all the accessories as we all know. And in some are in cardboard, obviously, and some are in these little cough drop baggies. Mmm, mentholiptus. I, I do think this is a nice add-on, though. I mean, I think it's fun. I really do. So, yeah, I, I keep thinking maybe we should do something with these. I don't know. I mean, I, I think we should, but I can't figure out what. Okay, so now we got all the accessories out. We, we'll pull Sarge with them when, as we go. Uh, we, of course, have his gun. Um, there's a clip and a sight there. Uh, his shades. His baton and um, whistle. Of course, the ever-popular signature hat. And a whole group of hands that we'll uh, talk about in a bit. But there's a whole bunch of them there. Um, and, you know, uh, some people say that's the one that drove the price up. I'm not sure. And this last one is if gaslighting us. I mean, it's kind of nifty, but then kind of lame. The plastic free packaging is packed with a plastic figure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now, it is neat that the back can move off. I don't know if anybody knew that. I thought it was pretty common knowledge, but uh, yeah, the back can move off, so you can take the figure out without uh, opening it. It's kind of neat. Um, totally unnecessary, though. I didn't really um, think it was something that needed to be packed with Sarge. And the gun looks like an AK-47, which I thought was a little strange, since um, you know those are usually the guns reserved for the Cobras. So yeah, kind of odd. So. Um, let's get to posing Sarge a little bit here. And so, this is Sarge with a lot of his gear. Now, I'm going to correct myself from something I said a minute ago. I, 
it's his gun is not an AK-47, but it looks very much like an AK-47. Uh, there, it's it could be like maybe they took the des basic design of an AK-47 and kind of spruced it up a little bit. I don't know, or it could be a gun I'm not familiar with that's in that family. That also could be it, or it could be a modification even. I don't, I don't know. Um, I know a little bit about guns. I don't know a lot. Uh, you know, I know just about enough to uh, be a little dangerous. But anyway, the glasses sit on his face really nice, and the hat sits down too. And, you know, like I said, he has uh, several hands. He's got a pointing hand, and he's got, uh, of course, trigger hands. Because how else is he going to hold a gun? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. And of course, Sarge has that pointer hand just in case he wants to do a one finger push up. Yeah, you can do that. Now, I do have to tell you, when I was getting him into this pose, I, I, I had to push the butterfly joint forward a little bit, and I heard a snap. That made me a little nervous, but I haven't noticed anything to be worried about yet. But just uh, giving all full disclosure here. Now, Sarge also has these kind of claw hands, clawing hands, something you want to call it, um, for uh, more aggressive stances. Uh, kind of looks like he's getting ready to go into a wrestling maneuver or something. Ah, uh, maybe. Who knows? I mean, let's uh, <laughs> give him a try. He, he might be good at that. You never know. And, you know, again, uh, Sarge does look good. I mean, I didn't even have to try to use a uh, figure stand to hold him like this. I mean, he just did it on his own. I, I just told him, crouch down and look me. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> okay, no, I did have to move him, but that's beside the point. He does have uh, pins in his arms, but no pins in his uh, knees. So, yeah, confusing. It's, a, it's the same skin tone, so it's not a huge deal, but, you know, something to note. And, uh, you know, every time I've... Uh, and every time I've taken the, the hands out and... Um, mess with them i have had a real hard time getting hands out and back in on the pickles which might be a good thing um in his wrist but it might be a good thing that that's going on so keep that in mind too so i heard some people saying that he's so big he's good enough for uh in mattel's uh wwe line which is notoriously taller than uh, most hasbro lines even though they both claim to be six inch scale um, and looking at that, I mean, yes, Sarge is a little shorter than Hogan. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, that Hogan figure is criticized for being a tad bit too tall. I mean, it, and it is, it is a little bit too tall. It's actually taller than those other ones. So I need to find another one of my um, ultimates and see how Sarge measures up with him. But I don't think um, you can fix, you can mix him in with uh this line very easily uh there is an ultimate sergeant slaughter in this line already um it's kind of hard to find though because of reasons but <laughs> and it's kind of funny to me because if you look around sarge has appeared in <laughs> more toy lines in the past two years than most anybody he's uh, appeared in um you know the regular uh wwf line uh, and you can still pick up a couple of uh, the figures from that WWF line. And uh, he has also appeared in, of course, G.I. Joe that we're, we're on now. And then he was in Action Force with Valiverse. And it's just like, <laughs> Sarge, you're everywhere. I saw a video of him selling all these figures at a, at a show. I thought it was kind of funny and kind of cool at the same time. So, yeah, I went back to... Um, my collection and i kind of looked and i just went wait a minute that hogan is so i mean he is he's just way too tall um so i went quickly and grabbed the ultimate warrior and i just kind of set him face to face and ooh, that's close that's real close i mean there you maybe maybe i was wrong i i gotta admit i mean i rethought about it and i just put him down there and then I said well I better film this and just talk about it and uh, yeah maybe Ultimate Warrior isn't um, or maybe Hulk Hogan was the wrong example to use 
because standing here with a uh, sarge i think that almost looks like about the height difference they had in wrestlemania um i will look go look up a uh picture and just you know something to uh, compare and then you can kind of see for yourself moving on to the face sculpt it's pretty good uh it's not exact but it's it's good and uh, i don't want to say good enough but it's pretty spot on to uh robert remus aka sarge but uh yeah i like it i think it's uh pretty nice pretty dope as it gets i'm never saying that again dear god all right and um his range of motion is very well done and um you know good figure i'm i'm gonna say right now he's not a 32 dollar figure yeah 33 or whatever it was he's a 24 dollar figure and that's exactly what he is and yeah some people are gonna say no this is this this isn't no this was not a th over 30 dollar figure and um i'm glad i got the deal i got um i wish it was been a little bit less but hey you know you, you do what you do so the ultimate question is where am i going to rank this figure it's a really good one um i think if i had to pay 30 plus dollars for it i would have knocked a star off for price where i didn't i'm going to ignore that which kind of goes against my rules but kind of doesn't um and i will give him four and a half stars really good figure really solid figure if you're a fan of old school G.I. Joe and enjoyed the Sarge Sarge's presence in it, definitely think you should pick this up. You might want to pick it up if you're a wrestling fan and have some bunch of wrestlers and couldn't get that uh, Ultimate uh, Sergeant Slaughter. Might be a nice substitute. Okay, there we go. That's going to wrap it up for uh, Infinite Realms. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And at ease, disease. <laughs>